What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Driver's Apex. My name is Thomas Donahue and I have finally found some glass, not plastic, for the E30 fog lights, right? So this is for facelift cars. Very difficult to find. Thankfully, a subscriber who follows me uh, had an extra pair. So shout out to him. Um, I'll put his Instagram information in the uh, description. So give him a follow, super cool guy. I've never done this before. Uh, I know there are how-to videos. Um, not really gonna watch how-to videos. We're just gonna figure this out together. It can't be that difficult. So let's get it done. All right guys, I think this is all I need is an eight mil. Cars on jack stands. We're just gonna go under here. And then we're just gonna one, two, and then there's a three and a four up here. So I'm gonna knock those out. All right, so here are my quick thoughts. I can see here, it's hard to see. Let me just back this out a little bit. All right, so that's the seal right there. So it's telling me that this line here, I need to carefully kind of cut out. This looks like um, silicone or something like that. Same here, you can tell where the seal is. So I can start just slowly pulling away. Let's just do it right now if it's allowing me to. Okay, we might actually be able to pull a seal off this one just while we're chatting. That could be interesting. And this seal, I think this one, yeah, that one's still available. So if there's one that's gonna tear on me, I'd rather it be this one, but thus far, this seems to be the one that's coming off. So I'm not sure if I actually will replace it. It might be just for the purposes of continuity, clean it up if this one comes off as well. Wow, that is wicked. Yeah, that is really bad. I need to pull these out. I think they're like a rubber, so I'll use a pry tool. Pull those out. This is just a um, laminix. So what I need to do is buy some more laminix. That way the new glass has protection. So what I'll do is I'll work on this one. I think we'll film this one because it looks more difficult. Well, not really actually. Okay, no. We're not gonna film this. I'm just gonna do this off camera as well. It looks like someone tried to do this before me. Uh, but yeah, look, it just comes off. And then we'll get to this part. Okay, so we have two seals. Thankfully, it looks like someone did this before me and I'm thankful that they actually did a crappy job. Because they did a crappy job, uh, it was easily removed. Otherwise, it could have been really difficult. I don't know if, we'll check the thicknesses. They look about the same. So that's good. This is really, really important because one of them is discontinued and the other is not. So that would be this one. This one's discontinued, the passenger side. So I've got this stuff, flex glue. It's clear, it's really powerful. I'm hoping this will be enough to seal the glass uh, to the unit itself. But now I need to do is get the glass removed from the whole fog light unit. So But what's nice is they're not super integral to the whole process. Looks like they just cover up the Phillips head screws. So now we're gonna get to the, I think probably the separation process. And we can see the glasses here and the units here. So what we need to do is probably start working a razor blade in here and getting the seal broken as much as possible. We can at least start with clearing out this silicone. I don't think that's factory. I, if it is, oh my gosh, but I really don't think it's factory. Looks like someone used some like red RTV or something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fiddle with this. I'll probably put it on time-lapse 
and then I'll come back if I get closer, put it back on live video, and I'll talk about it with you guys. All right, guys, we're making progress. Um, I think you guys saw probably on time lapse how I did that. So what I did was kind of razor bladed, cut through as much as possible. I used a really skinny flat blade. And once, um, actually before that, um, I chiseled and I cut just a small little piece. And then once I cut it, I was able to take this really thin screwdriver, go down under the channel pry under, pop out, and once I was able to do that enough, then I had enough leverage that I could come through gently against the plastic, pry the whole thing out. And that's what you saw at the end of the time lapse was this. You know what I think might be a really good idea is because this was already laminexed ahead of time, it kept everything really tight and prevented a lot of like just shattering in general. Maybe it makes sense to take like some clear box tape, uh, anything like that, and just tape all the glass so that when you are working on it, you're not losing a whole lot of glass. It, you can see it's shattered, but because it's held together with a tape, it was easier actually to work with and allow me to pop it all out. So now what we got to do is just get in here and clean as much as this as possible. I'm not going to go in here and touch any of that. There it's like little tiny fragments of glass. What I need to do is just get an air compressor and just gently blow all that out. I did, and you didn't see this on camera, but it was super easy. The screw that goes here, that's the only screw that holds this fog light to the frame. So just take it out and then you can work with this without fear of breaking uh, the frame or snapping this off or anything else like that. So. What I'll do is I'll go back to time lapse. We'll get all of this cleaned up, and then hopefully we can start uh, the process of just installing the glass. I'm not going to worry about painting this part here or making it. I don't care. Um, the car's not perfect. I just want the fog lights back on and to look pretty fresh. I don't think it makes a big difference if that's um, lightly frosted or not, especially since I'm gonna put the yellow laminex back on. So let's get over to a time lapse and finish this project. Let's see here, can we show? Yeah, you can kind of see right in there. You can see, if I put a screwdriver in there, you can hear it's, it's all cleared out for the most part. And this screwdriver has been incredibly helpful. I don't know what that was, but it sounded really good. But I'm able to just come in here and it just about fits width-wise. Get in here and really clean all of that out. Yeah, you can see right here all this like silver. So that means there's very little black like 
silicone left over. So it's pretty much ready. Uh, what I need to do, I'll probably use some Q-tips and like some alcohol. Really try to get that clean. Of course, that's all gonna be blown out, of course. My air compressor uh, has died, so I need to run out and get another air compressor. But I knew that was gonna happen at some point very, very soon. So I think we're pretty close. But I need to make sure all of this is cleaned up and this needs to be cleaned up. All right, so I'm back. Um, quickly, I just used a little bit of brake cleaner, put it on and some Q-tips, yuck, and started just working uh, the channels. And then let me get a lens. So I've got a lens here. And the lens fits quite well. The only thing I notice is I'm not going to be able to get the screw in perfectly. I'm going to have to enlarge this just barely. Otherwise, the screw, let's see here. We're going to run into an issue like that. It's hard to show on camera. But it's going to hit the glass a little bit. So it needs to, I need the hole to be enlarged just a little bit. All right, guys, it is, I don't know, it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Um, and I'm going to keep on working because I have... I have an EEG scheduled in the morning, which means I'm only allowed to sleep four hours. And because I'm only allowed to sleep four hours between two and 6 a.m., I figured it might as well make sense to spend time working on this project. So I wanna get this done, get it out, done, all that kind of stuff. Actually, you don't need to clean that part, it's this part, sorry, duh. Okay, so this is clean. I think probably it makes a lot of sense to clean the inside of this because I don't know if you can see. It's really hard to tell with the lighting, but it looks like water stain, stuff like that. No, nothing big. It's just, yeah, it's on the inside. Make sure you clean it with some glass cleaner. Make sure it's nice and clean because, duh, right? Once it's sealed, you kind of, your fate is sealed with the way it looks. So make sure it's clean. I'm going to clean it and then we'll get to this. All right, I got some light. A lot of us YouTubers, small channels work at night. This is nice and clean. Yeah, you can see that's really clean. Okay, never done this before. Actually, let's just stick it. And then of course, we'll wanna get it on the outside as well. Anywhere there's contact, that's the whole the whole goal. And I went with this real thin, clear, not thin, it's definitely not thin, it's very sticky, uh, just clear product, just so we can't see it. Because it looks like BMW used a black product, almost like a right stuff kind of product. I'm trying to use, I don't know, something that looks a little more clear. Because BMW, you can see like on the inside um, as well. And I didn't, I don't want to see all the black silicone in there. And I'm not sure what this is. This is just flex glue. So I wanted something that, of course, I had a little flex. Uh, I also wanted something that was clear. And then I wanted something that was really strong. This seemed like it made sense. We'll see if I made a mistake. Okay, we're clean. Okay. And it looks like it actually does pretty well. Yeah, it looks like there's good seal. Now what we need to do all right, so I've got one of these clamps here. Let's try to put this there. That's a start. I wonder if we can just clamp from here. Messed up the glass, guys. 
So maybe come up here so that, there we go. Yeah, that was close right there. I almost put a hole in the glass. That would have sucked. Okay, so that one's done. Okay, it is the next day. Um, I already pulled the clamp off this one. I wanted to check. And then <clears throat> I've been working on this seal. You'll see in a couple cinematic shots, but someone oversprayed all of this. So it was silver. And then they decided to paint black on top of it. So as I was cleaning it, I kept seeing silver. And then I scraped the silver off and then it was rubber. So I got to the, as close to as possible, the original rubber. It's much softer now. But that's really frustrating. So I've got the other one soaking. <clears throat> Let's take this off. Let's I put a piece of towel there because the frame can mess up the glass, as I found out. But yeah, it's nice and sturdy. So that's what's up. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, this looks good. So next, what we want to do is install this. I'm going to leave this just regular clear I think it looks nice and clean but what we need to do is apply our stuff here so we should have enough I think what's nice is it's clear as well so I can I will put the product in the description. And I got it at Lowe's, so I'll just put like the Lowe's website in there. I think that's good. We shall see. Okay. Here's where it gets tricky. It's because it'll want to slide on you like that. But that's okay. Don't panic. We'll clean up afterwards. This one, we'll just get it started actually. I'll just get it going. It was a lot easier when I was test fitting it, and then once you put some silicone on, uh, it's a little interesting. Because this clamp here, I think, could be too strong. Let's see here. Maybe not. Maybe. So let me get the other one, wherever I put that at. Let me look for the other one. I'm sure it's going to pop off. Let's see if I can clamp this one down. Okay. I think that's going to work, guys. I think. Two rubber bands and then just two small harbor freight clamps and then just let it sit and then any of my fingerprint marks any like anything that's a mess on here i'm sure we can clean it off later i'm not going to attempt to clean it right now but i think we're in a good spot 
All right guys, this project is done. These are mounted. That one's already mounted to the frame. So what I'm gonna do is put the frame back on this one. I didn't need to chamfer, chamfer, chamfer um, the hole here. I was able to barely get the hole, the screw in there. So that's fine. So let's get this put back on and we're gonna pop it back on the car and then we'll take a look at it on the car and see how we did. Okay guys, this is a wrap. This uh, E30 fog light, I wouldn't call it a restoration. I would call it more a, a quick fix to make it look better because at the end of the day, this E30, the paint and everything is not perfect. So I wasn't too worried about it being perfect, even though my goal is always as close to perfect as possible. Um, the biggest difficulty with this job, I think, is just getting the rubber fog light seals back around uh, the housing and glued on. I think that was the most annoying part, not breaking the glass and chiseling it all out. That actually wasn't too, too bad. As long as you practice safety and, and patience, stuff like that, it's really not that big of a deal. So I hope you guys like this video. I don't know that it was like a true how-to. I think there are some really amazing how-tos out there. I think for me, this is more about just vlogging, bringing you into the garage, show you what I'm, showing you what I'm working on. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any comments, drop those comments in the comment section. And if you guys haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. We're really, really close to that 1,000 mark. That would really mean a lot. And I will see you guys later. All right, as I said, I'd show you the fog lights. I think it came out pretty decent. I'm trying to get closer, but the, uh, the mic is in the way. Yeah, I didn't have to drill out the holes or anything. Putting those back in sucked. these just a little bit of oil and then just push and turn, put them back in. But yeah, those will get yellow covers back on them, like yellow laminex covers back on them because I don't know if I like it all cleared out. But hey, you guys let me know. If you like it all cleared and get rid of all the yellow, I'll do that. If you want it yellow, I'll put it back to yellow. So just let me know.